Welcome to Mike's Man Cave and welcome to another beekeeping video. Now, as you know, we've got our beehive set up outside and um, you can just have a quick look at that now. And now we're back and here's the other half of our beehive still on the workbench. It's already painted and um, it's all ready to go there. We haven't painted the inside. If you want to know more about how to paint a beehive, check out my videos linked in the description box on how to paint a beehive. And I've also got a video where we put this whole hive together and build it. So I'll link all those videos down below. But what we've got here, we've got the actual flow frames. Now I bought these from China. Now I bought these before the coronavirus. I've actually had these sitting in the shed for about three months. So we're finally going to unbox these now and put them into our top box. I've already cut the um, box open, so let's have a look inside. Bit of a struggle doing it one-handed. There you go. These are the flow frames. Now these were ordered off eBay and they cost $126 for all seven frames delivered. And you also get the frame hive tool that allows you to drain the honey. So um, that's the tool here. So we'll put that aside. Okay, here's the instructions for the frames, all in pictures. Okay, that's the frame tool. You've got drain tubes, you've got plugs, and it's literally honey on tap from your hive. Okay, here's how it all goes together, just for those that have never seen this before. Okay, this is the hive that I've already built. That box here is that box there. And that's where the flow frames are going to go. Okay, and that's basically what it looks like from the back. You can see the cutouts back here. And you've also got the windows on the side there. So let's pull one of these out and have a closer look. Okay, this is what they look like. There you go. That's one end. And here's the other end, okay? That's the end where the plug goes. And that's where the other plug goes, or eventually where the drain tube goes. So hopefully there's some plugs in here somewhere so we can put these together properly. Here's one of the drain tubes that fits in the end here to drain the honey eventually. Hoping it fits in there. Yep, it does seem to fit in there nicely once you've taken the plastic off there. Okay, this is covered in plastic so you can take that off and it'll slip in there easily. Okay, and here's the plugs that you use while the um, flow frames are inside your hive. So you put that in there. And this is where your hive tool goes in. You just grab this little piece and it just slips in there and blocks that off. Now, once you've done that, you've put that in there and you've put this in here, you can get your frame and sit it in there. Okay, and that's your first frame done. And you repeat the same process with all seven frames, which should hopefully fit in there perfectly. That's the plan anyway. I'll put all the um, frames into the hive. I will give you a quick demonstration of what this does. So here's your flow hive in the standard position that it goes into the hive box. And that's the end of it there. Now to insert to drain your honey, insert your flow tool in the bottom here and you twist it. What that does, it pushes that up and these offset so all the honey can drain out. See how they're now offset? So now all the honey can drain out and it will come out the drain hole down here. Well, that's the idea anyway. Hopefully that will work. 
once we've installed this and once the bees have filled all this up with honey which might be a little while yet so let's put all these frames together and put them in there so we'll um, reset this frame now so now we insert that into the top there you go and we'll turn the frame turn the tool to align all our hive honeycombs and now we put our plug in there put our plug in there and we'll drop it in there with these ones that we've already done here's the plug that slips in there that easy and here's the bottom plug that goes in there once that's done we'll get the frame and we'll just simply drop it in there so we've got four frames in there now so we're going to put three more hopefully they'll all fit nice and neat okay there's the last frame going in hopefully it'll fit uh -oh. okay that looks really good so we've got all seven frames in the box now they look to be a perfect fit and so far no problems at all i'm quite happy with my um chinese made flow frames i know we should probably be buying australian made stuff but these were 126 dollars delivered from china and I think the Australian one's around $500. So um, I can't really afford the $500 one, so I'm stuck with the Chinese flow frames. And hopefully they'll work just as well as the other ones. Time will tell. Once this is filled up, we will see if we can actually drain the honey and if it all works as intended. So far, so good. Here's just a quick view from the back of the hive. So this is how you actually access the flow hive for those people that have never seen it before. Okay, you can twist that and then imagine the top of the hive being on top here still and the bees are still in there. You can take this off and you can access the top chamber by taking out these little plugs as we've seen earlier. And to drain your honey, we'll take off I'm doing this again one-handed while I'm filming. You take off the back panel here. Now, keep in mind the beehive is still closed. Okay, there's a lid on top here that seals all this. So the bees can't actually get out here. They can't get out. It's all sealed off. Okay, so from there, you can then take out your little plugs here. And you insert your drain tube in there, which is one of these. This one's still wrapped in plastic. Insert your drain tube in there. And then you take out your top plug. You get your hive tool, you insert it, you twist it. And in theory, the honey will then drain out here into your honey container that you've got behind your hives. All the while, the bees are completely unaware what you're doing back here. The bees will be at the front entrance, which is actually on that side. Okay, I'm hoping that makes sense for those people that have never seen it before. So if you enjoyed this quick little video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. In the next video, we will be putting this box on top of our beehive, hopefully without getting stung. Thanks for watching and bye for now.